Hi, this is Shady and today we're gonna be discussing Daria Bilo Deed's Sankaku Gatame or the Triangle Hold. Now, I've discussed uh, Daria's techniques before and her anatomy in particular. Um, she has very long limbs and she is very slim for her category. She is 5'8 or 172 centimeters tall in the minus 48, so that's pretty tall and this often plays to her advantage when it comes to hooking for Ashiwaza for her Ochigari and Uchimata and now we're gonna see her a very famous Neiwaza technique and that is the Sankaku uh, Gatame but uh, before we go to see I just want to say that Daria Sankaku is a very much revolutionary it is a variation of the Sankaku that has never been done before and uh, she does it in a way that she saves both time and effort and also which makes it uh, work uh, almost uh, immediately once it is hooked unlike the traditional Sankaku but before we start looking at Daria's Sankaku we're gonna uh, take on uh, a few examples of the old one in competition and particularly Mark Hoisinga uh, one of the most underrated judokas a three times Olympic medalist so let's go to the first example and it is the World Cup of 2003 and here he goes for like a Tayotoshi chops down here we can start to see the traditional Sankaku it is he places himself on the same axis of his opponent and hooks one of the under the armpit and then when he gets the triangle he flips his opponents turns them around and he has to switch his leg or the hook in order to work it let's see here another example in the 2003 world championship again uh, the leg goes under the armpit, uh, hooks, he has to switch uh, hooks in order to have the Sankaku under the armpit. He stays on the same axis, belly on the back, they both form like a straight line and then flips them around and turns them. And you can see the old Sankaku is like you stay on the same axis, on the same line uh, as you hook. Uh, you don't go sideways or take the back but rather you stay on the same line like I said but the uh, how do you say the inconvenience of this one is that you have to switch legs once you hook them so it is kind of like a waste of time and also a chance for them to escape now let's look at Daria Sankaku so Daria Sankaku is particularly different in a one crucial detail and here it is she places herself perpendicular rather than on the same line and immediately hooks uh, and just turns around using leverage so she doesn't have to uh, place her legs and force them in and then when she flips her around she has to re-switch the hook in order to get the Sankaku in Daria's version while placing herself perpendicular she immediately gets the triangle and also uh, all she has to do is flip it around and use leverage let's look at it again here you can see it's immediately hooked without even turning her around and here turns around it's already locked she doesn't have to re-establish the hook like uh, the traditional Sankaku and there you have it an established Osaikomi and pretty much an Ippon so this is why it is uh, economically from time standpoint efficient and also technical standpoint it is very efficient and also far more uh, how do you say uh, convenient and there is no way when you are really like re-establishing the hook in the traditional one or switching the legs there is like a slight gap where your opponent might escape and in Daria's version there is no that because when she hooks it is already established there is no need to re-hook the legs let's look at it again here against uh, Romania from Tunisia Grand Prix she tries for the Ochigari she fails she goes for the hook perpendicular position as we see already it is established the triangle and boom you have the Osai Komi Waza and if she added like a slight squeeze uh, in her adductors she can uh, choke out her opponent and gets like a Sankaku Jime or a triangle choke instead of a triangle hold so it is very imperative to be perpendicular to your opponent unlike the traditional one and when once you hook it is already established all you need to do is just use leverage in order to flip around your opponent and even if they don't flip around you can just if you have 
strong thighs you can just squeeze out and make them tap without turning them around so like i said um this particular version of the Sankaku Gatame is a great addition to Neiwaza and a revolutionary part of Judo's Neiwaza because, you know, I myself, I practice uh, Jiu Jitsu or BJJ and uh, nobody puts themselves in this position in order to try this variation of Sankaku. So it is a revolutionary technique on multiple levels and I really like this variation. Uh, if you have anything else to add or another technique to suggest, share it down below don't be hesitant and if you have another detail to add or another observation to add to the sankaku that i have missed personally uh, let me know down below uh, this was shady and thank you for listening